If before you get your own, you need to help somebody succeed. Because your success is based on their success. Push them forward. Amen. You are a child of God. God will never forsake you. Tell your neighbor, God will never forsake you. Yes, Bazalwan. Amen. You don't need a weight loss program. You need to eat right. Amen. That's all. <laughs> Sorry, you will lose so many kilograms in one week. Forget it. Eat properly. Look at your neighbor and say, I get your babble like a man. Beloved. We wait a little longer for what will last long. That's why young people don't try and compete with older people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't try and compete with your parents. Because those people have been able to save money for a long time. <clears throat> Some of you know, we built a house. We built a house. Yes, we built a new home. And we don't owe a bank a cent. It didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight. Uh -uh. We had to be putting things here and there 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 and there. And there, and there, and there. Is somebody listening? It had to be that first. You get that first. So if you say about if you asking how did they manage? They manage horrible they invested there and there. When you start working, young person, don't compete with your friends. Trying to drive a mean machine. As soon as you come out of the garage, that thing has lost value. Put your money somewhere where it will work for you whilst you are asleep. You are still young. We can buy the mean machines. Amen. Leave the old people to, to buy all those toys that they like. No problem. When? Invest. Amen. If you want to know how, talk to my wife. She's got a, a course. She's got a course on that. No, I give her a guess. She has mentored people who are doing well financially. Amen. There are people, even some of them here. Klein Bartimaeus. He knew exactly what he needed. He knew exactly what he needed. You see, that's why Peter. That is why Peter. After he got a lot of fish, <laughs> he left it and followed Jesus. When I analyzed it, Peter is clever. Even though Christ called him, I said Peter is clever. Peter figured out if I take all this fish and I sell it, I will make money. But the miracle will end there. Because this guy is living. So me, 
I don't want to have a once of miracle. So I'm going to leave the fish. I'm going to follow the miracle worker. So that everywhere there is a need for a miracle. I can live in miracle land. Amen. So Bartimaeus did not know of anyone who was able to give him sight. Until he heard that Jesus is here. Then he knew. You see, Bartimaeus, Bartimaeus his word, his name means Bar, means son. Timaeus, Timaeus. means unclean. So, he was the son of the unclean. That's why he was outside the city. Jesus met him when he was leaving the city. He lived an unclean life because of a handicap he didn't cause. Did you know that all of us there is something about us that we need help for that comes from our background. Something, there will always be something about all of us. Because there are things that we did not choose about who we are. None of us chose how we would, we would be born. We didn't choose our gender. We didn't choose who our parents should be. We didn't even choose our looks. We didn't choose our family. Our race. Many things. Things. But I think the, the first and most important thing is for us to be happy about who we are. Mm -hmm. Don't become ashamed of your family. Use the shame of your family for a part of your purpose. Know that if God chose you to be there, there is a purpose and there will be a testimony. So I want to say to my young, beautiful daughters here, don't bleach your skin. Amen. Don't burn your skin. You are the dark beauty of Africa. Amen. Determine that if there are people who burn their skins for money, you will use your talent and it will give you money because the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. Right. Let me tell you, let me be a little, let, let me be political for a moment, for three seconds. Black is going to be the in thing in the coming days. Amen. I'm telling you. Black is beautiful. Black is going to be the in thing. I don't know whether those who bleached their skins, are they now going to produce a new product that darkens the skin? My father used to call 
our last born, our young, uh, the youngest. Papa, uh, she's, she's not young now, but our young, she, she used, she used to, he used to call her dark beauty. Yeah, because she was dark. She was dark, kind of darker than all of us. And that made her feel good. Is somebody listening to me from the store of Bartimaeus? Okay, we, we need to start winding down and there is so much I still want to say, but let's, let's, let's move. <clears throat> So Bartimaeus needed to meet Christ. And he knew if I meet Christ, my blindness will go. Now here's the man shouting. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And people but, who are around Jesus say, you're making noise. And the Bible says he shouted even louder. Jesus! Jesus! Son of David! Have mercy on me! Then out of the noise of the people, Jesus heard the cry. And Jesus stood. Why did Bartimaeus shout? Because he did not care about the opinion of the people that he's shouting. I want to see, I want you, to see you are shout. telling me I'm making noise. Hey. I will make it even worse. Let me tell you something. Don't let anybody tell you what you deserve. I don't know if you hear what I'm saying. Do not let people determine for you. You deserve to have this. You don't deserve to have that. Because you come from this background. Because you are because you are so and so. There is only one who can tell me or tell you what you deserve. Only one. It is that one who said, I know the plans I have for you. I know where I want to take you. I want to give you a future. I want to give you a great hope. God is the one who can dictate what you deserve and what you don't. But another person, they don't have that right. Amen. They don't have that right. In fact, when they start telling you, it will not work. You must know it's going to work. Amen. You know why? Because people who tell you it's not going to work will be among the first one to congratulate you when it works. Look at this very example. Shut up. Shut up. And then he calls him. The same people who were discouraging him. Now they are the ones who are saying, Wow, they are calling you. Amen. The same people. They did not understand the heart of Christ. Mm. 
Then Jesus calls him. Look at this as I'm closing. Jesus mm. calls him. Mm. So here comes a blind man. Imagine with me. This man is walking towards Christ. Somebody, now the, the first thing that he did, he put off his, uh, his jacket. 